Hey you too, what's going on? You're on the hardest questions for challenge math. It's all about tropism. I'm uh, going to show you exam styles questions that's designed specifically for you guys so that you can practice your proper skills for challenge math. Okay? If you're ready for this, let's get started. Pause the video, try to fix the first picture and make another screenshot for you guys so that you can do by your own. If you're ready to compare, if you've done and ready co to compare, let's compare with my explanations. All right, so what we're going to do there, we need to prove that KL, the middle line, is simply a semi-sum of the basis of this trapezium. Okay, in which way we can do? I'm going to use, of course, you're not supposed to use the formula for the midline. So I just want to use the idea of the middle line for triangles. As you remember, for the triangle, the middle line is the half of the base of the triangle. So, okay, which middle lines and which triangles I'm going to consider? First, A, B, let's say triangle M, A, B, M, and the second triangle C, D, let's say F, okay? So, if we consider triangle A, B, M, both and C, F, D, we can input X and Y segments as midlines, okay? So X and Y are middle lines, okay? So that's going to be middle lines for each triangle correspondingly, okay? So what it means? It means that AM is going to be double X and FD is going to be double Y, okay? So what it means? It means that we can represent the KL, KL lanes through X and Y and the bottom part, the base, also we can express through X and Y. Okay, let's get started. The first one, KL, the whole mid segment is going to be actually can be completed as x plus y so i use that part i just denote with the probably this dot color okay those middle lines x and y and the rest segment is going to be the base bc so let's denote bc as a okay so that's why you'll have a also there so I'll denote with their arrow, okay? So that is A, okay? So that's why on top of that, you will add A. So that's how we uh, route KL lens. Now let's go back to AD, the bottom one. So AD is, let's set up B, okay? Let's input B, which is in this case 20. So let's express Let's express B through also X and Y. It's going to be double X and double Y, double X and double Y. And also we need to add the rest part, which is also A. MF is A, okay? So what we can do, we need to express, we need to kill actually X and Y because they're redundant variables. How to eliminate, so... Eliminate x plus y. I'm not going to eliminate uh, variable by variable, x and y separately. I just eliminate the whole x plus y, okay? So what I'm going to do, I just simply times 2 the left uh, side and the right side, okay? I times 2 the left and right side of the equation for KL. I will get 2KL will be equal to... 2x plus y plus 2a, okay? And here, in the bottom equation, I'll also have 2, I factorize 2, okay? So 2 times x plus y and also plus 2a. Everything's correct, oops, except for the last one. Plus a, of course, yeah. 
And what I'm what I'm what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do right now? I'm going to express two x plus y. Let's say from the bottom equation. So two times x plus y is going to be equal b minus a. And let's plug it here, right there. So kl to kl first is going to be equal to b minus a plus 2a. Our target is to express kl through bc and ad. Okay, so let's do that. kl is simply the right side will represent b plus a or a plus b. And we divide everything by 2. So let's have a look at what we've got. We've got the equation for KL. And let's compare what we're supposed to do. KL is 0.5. That's 1 over 2. BC is the top one is A. Here's. And AD is B, the bottom one. So we have everything in order to calculate the lens for KL. Let's do it right now. So KL in centimeters is going to be equal 15 plus 20 over 2. 15 plus 20 over 2, which will give us the value 35 over 2 is 17.5 centimeters. Okay, so we calculated, we proof, and that's how it looks like. Now you won't have any questions about why the middle line of trapezium is equal to the semi sum of its bases. Let's move to the next part. So the next part is all about finding PL lanes. Okay, so the way that we're gonna um, we're gonna go. So actually, it's pretty hard to find. Oh, and which ratio? Is going to be point P will divide KP and P, K, the segment KL. We have no idea. But what we can do, again, we need to do something. And what exactly we can do? What if we put perpendicular, basically the height, through the point P? What we expect to have? Of course, that's going to be the same, say double, the same length for the part of the height that's above the line KL and below. Okay, now I just want to shade two triangles. The bottom one and the top one. What do you think? Are they equal? Are they completely the same? Yes, they should be the same. Here is explanation why. Let's have a look at the angle here. According to the second line, AC, which is AC, and two bases which are parallel. You see those errors, and this is by definition of trapezium. So BC, this angle is going to be the same, right? So the first statement, we can say that DAC angle is going to be equal to angle B, C, A. All right. Here is 90 degree angle. And automatically those angles are vertically opposite. So that means two triangles the same. They're completely equal. Why? Why they're not like just similar triangles. They're the same because those sides are the same. Okay. So look at those sides. They're the same. It's h over 2, if you consider height as h. So that's why two triangles, triangle AP, let's say K, and triangle CPM, they are the same. A, P, K is equal to triangle M, C, P. Okay, what we can conclude? Our goal is to find the segment PL. Um, what we can do? We can set up or input new variable. Let's say that AK is going to be X. So that's why MC is going to be X as well. All right. So that's why the rest part, BM, BM is going to be 15 minus X. So here is 15 minus X. 
So that part. What about the right side? So from K to, tw to D. KD, if we set up X before, uh, below for the segment AK, KD is going to be 20 minus X. Okay, so that means this is 20 minus X. What we can do next, we can say the following. Why not to use the previous fact that this middle line, KL middle line segment, is going to be equal to the semi sum of the bases? Okay, from the trapezium ABMK, KP is going to be equal to 1 over 2 of BM and AK. So BM plus AK, okay? Plus AK. In numbers, we can easily calculate it's going to be 1 over 2. So BM is 15 minus 6. And AK is X, so plus X. And you see that X will be cancelled. So that's why KP and the first trapezium is going to be 15 over 2, all right? So 15 over 2, 7.5. That's how we found KP. How to find PL? It's very easy. So PL, the rest part, is going to be the difference between KL, which is... Okay, I'll write in letters first. KL minus the part for KP that we recently found. If we put the values, we got KL is 17.5. That's from previous consideration. We calculated that. And we subtract 7.5. What it means? It means that we'll get 10 for PL. And that's how it can be worked out. PL, PL is 10 centimeters. So guys, hope you like that. I'm very pleased that I had a chance to explain this hard problem that I saw actually pretty similar one. So that's why I decided to highlight um, the work through and with pretty detailed explanation. So I hope you, you will use this fact and this sort of problem actually requires from you like extra action to put something, like to put the height. And actually during the proof, you, we also did it. Okay, hope you like that. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and like this video, please, guys. And see you next time.